Mr. Frey, I'm Special Agent Claire Archer. Can I join you? Mr. Frey, I just have a few questions. I would like to talk to you about your sister, Evelyn. Are you reinvestigating her murder? We still see no evidence to suggest foul play, but I do want to speak to you about why you think it was murder. Ms. Archer, do you really think I'm not fully aware of the reason for your visit? First two lobbyists, and then a senator, die of untimely natural causes. <laughs> so young, so healthy. The FBI must be under great pressure to solve this one quick, quick. So, Miss Archer, please don't waste my time masquerading the true nature of your visit. What did you come here hoping you would see? Or like the rest of your kind, do you just feebly reach around in the dark, hoping to find something meaningful? Okay. Do you want to know what I do see behind this genius facade? When you peek behind the curtains, the wizard is actually just a man barely holding his shit together. A man who when he wakes up in the morning can either start his coffee or blow his brains out. There's a thread, something you're holding on to. I just can't figure out if it's your need to know what happened to Evelyn or some fucked up plot for revenge. Ms. Either way... Archer. Imagine for a moment you were trapped in a deadly game and you had no idea what the rules were. Or perhaps an even more perplexing situation you didn't even know you were playing. Professor, you see, I read up on your little conspiracy theories. And let's just say for a moment that they are true. Then what's really haunting you is the simple fact that somebody out there is smarter than you. And with all of your knowledge of pharmacology and nanotech, you still don't have a clue how they got to your sister. If your painfully obvious and somewhat boring attempt at pushing my buttons has concluded, I have a pressing game of angry birds to get back to. If the wizard feels like coming out from behind the curtain, here's my number. <laughs>